Hi, my name is Matt Shearer. I'm known by a lot of people online as a LinkedIn Lighthouse Keeper. And most of the time, I'm using social media forums like YouTube and other places to talk about ways to improve your LinkedIn profile. But today, I want to talk about something that's kind of hit home, and that's when leadership is lacking. <clears throat> I don't know if you saw the news segments that covered the deployment of 25,000 military forces from the National Guard into our nation's capital. But one of the things that really concerned me was the lack of leadership. And it wasn't the lack of leadership from the political realms, it was a lack of leadership within the military ranks of those who were serving in this important mission. For example, why was it that local restaurants were donating food to those who were serving in the nation's capital? And as a military retiree, the next time I'm in the District of Columbia, I'm going to order a pizza or two from wethepizza.com. Thank you guys. You know how to take care of the troops. But the question remains, what was the units for sergeants and others in the organization thinking? Where were the field kitchens? Where were the MREs? So we've got this lovely photo op with Vice President Pence, and it's commendable the Vice President to take time from his busy schedule to visit them, those people serving in the military to protect him and others from insurrection. Somewhere between Vice President Pence, who's at the top of the chain of command, to those in this picture, there has to be a first sergeant, a sergeant major, a captain, a major, a lieutenant colonel, or someone else with rank to make things happen. Why were they not taking care of their troops? Where was the food? Where was the basic necessities they needed to do the job? I think the first response from those of us who know better, those retired military guys, is to write our elected officials and give them the devil for not taking care of the troops. But honestly, that's not gonna do anything. Here's what we should be doing. Those of us, the old guard, retired officers, retired NCOs, retired military in general. We need to let those who are currently supervisors, commanders, first sergeants, frontline supervisors, that the number one job in the military is taking care of your troops. The number one job in the military is taking care of your troops. That's job one. This is Matt Shear. I'm the LinkedIn Lighthouse Keeper. I hope you'll join me soon for another episode on how to improve your LinkedIn profile. But today, I want to take the time to talk about the lack of leadership.